this is my golf in the year so far. I remember seven months ago playing at Reading Golf Course with my coach Joe Templer, doing some great shots. He did some great videos. But I haven't been there for a long time. I'm keeping in touch because they're a great, great course, great club. Right, because I've been so busy all this year on the golf course and other sports. Here we go then. Right, this year has been absolutely blooming amazing. I have improved out of all recognition. The golf shots I am playing are out of this world. When I go to San Martins for six months training that time, I could not believe what was going to happen at the end. We did all the training, we did all the shots, we played, we played really well. But I'd never been on the course before. And I remember, we tried, we played under the range because it was pouring rain that time. One of the one of the uh, training sessions. We did well. We did very well under the because what we did, we hit some iron shots and and uh, woods and other other clubs. But I remember I used a three wood for the first time, and that three wood was unbelievable. I've never I've never used a three wood, but it was going miles. I was really confident. Every shot I did I was really confident. And you can hear the people in the background saying, great shot, Colin, great shot. Great golf shot, Colin. And you can hear them. But you don't pay the attention to them. What you do is pay attention to your golf shot. And so many more people around this world know me now. They know me because I inspire people. I inspire so many across the world. But I just want to tell you this. After that six weeks training at San Martins on 2nd of October, it was like walking out of uh, one life into another. Walking out of a sad life into a glad life. Because golf is amazing and when you open the door of life you walk right through and you find what you've been looking for on the other side I remember standing there talking to people and they were saying oh yes we're going to do this today and that today sorting out the teams but first we had um, some training to do my guide took my arm and took me down towards the the range. On the way we met John. John Ogden. Oggy. He's an amazing man. Fantastic man. I wish from the bottom of my heart to thank him for what he's done for me. And his wife too, Kelly. Because he came five and a half hours on the motorway from Cornwall. He was brilliant. He stood there and spoke to us. He said, my name's Oggy. And he said, I remember that, because he said, I, people thought I was like Stan Ogden. My teacher used to think I was Stan Ogden at school. But he was so, he was so great. And he said he always eats um, pasties. They call him pasty down there, because he's so big. But it was so cool. Everything he said was brilliant. He filmed everything. It's called Collins, Collins Day, and it's on YouTube. So if you haven't seen it, go and see it. It's amazing. It's about our day on the course and what happens afterwards. I remember we went up to the um, table and sat there while the other people went on to their rounds. Nine holes it was. And when we went down, I could hear people hitting the ball off. There was a man there with one leg. So I was told. A man with one leg. It's amazing, isn't it? These people are amazing. They're inspirations. Every blind and partially sighted and disabled person is an inspiration to the world. 
And when you stand on that tee for the first time on the course, you get your driver ready. You take a few swings, and then you let it have it. I drove down the side. I think it was the longest drive out of the three drives we had. But the funniest part was unbelievable. I think it was the second or third hole. I stood there and I said, everything all right? And my mate John said, yeah, I think there's some W at the bottom. Was it W or was it Ian? Ian, I think, my caddy. So there was a W at the bottom. That means water. I must have drove it because I drove it straight into the, into the lake. And he said, you won't be the first one to do that. Or the last. And John uh, put a lovely shot the other side of the, by the, you know, down the side of the lake. And it was left to me to do a six sign into the green. I did it, but it went onto the side. I remember that. But you would never know what happened, never think what happened next. When I went down to take my shot, John said, oh, it's, you know, it's pretty rough, this shot. But I don't know how I done it. I chipped it from the side of the green, right near the hole, four feet away. And it was about 20 or 30 yards from the, from the um, pin. We got it in and we had a great time. But to be with a team, to be with friends, is part of golf. Golf is fun. Golf is a game for everyone. So don't think that you're, you can't play golf. Everyone can. Playing on that, on there for the first time, a nine hole tournament for the first time was unbelievable. I just like to say this, I would do it again and again and again because I know for a fact I can hit a, I can hit a drive a long way and when you get at the end of it, the end of the nine holes and you, I, there was the end of the nine holes and I was on the green, I did a 12 foot putt and it just went the other side of the hole, it was amazing, about a couple of inches to the left I think, but you can hear it on YouTube. You can hear people on the on the hill shouting, "Oh, you've nearly done it!" What a shame. But afterwards, we started talking. After that, we come third, which was brilliant. We had dinner afterwards. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had dinner afterwards, and after that, we went and got our prizes. There were photographs taken. It was an end to a perfect day, a special day. Collins Day. Thanks. Bye.